I hear Irving's very proud of you. Oh. Item was... Hello. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Sure am. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stock room? Yes, I just spoke to him. Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Really? I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Why? Who knows? I'm not going to ask her why she's irritable. Women hate those kind of questions. <laughs> right. Rights of annulment. Hello. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Stay silent. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Huh. You're in trouble? No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. Uh, it's alright, I want to know. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Curse? Magic? What else? Very foolish magic. Uh, you don't like having this power? Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. Huh. You could use your abilities to help people. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry, but they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Okay. What's with the other? Lily. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Mm -hmm. Kiss. La 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 And finally What's going on over here? Hello. Move along now. Alright. Yo. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Oh dear. Irving, someone is here to see you. Hello. You sent for me? Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Bye bye. Well, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Hmm. Pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Uh. 
Why? Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. What you mean? The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless Darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and Darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. Yay. We live in troubled times, my friend. We Ooh. should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. Yay. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. My lish you mean. <laughs> Thank you, First Enchanter. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Uh, thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest. Or study in the library. The day is yours. Yay. I'd, I'd prefer to talk now. <laughs> Impetuousness is ever the province of youth, I see. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Was he lazy? It would be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Alright. Mind if I lock for your stuff? Ooh, the forbidden school. Well, that was easy. Just had to run. Is there talk. something else I can Whoa. do for you? Uh, what's happening outside the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? Princes are not allowed to leave. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the darkspawn incursion. Nice sword you got there. How many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Um, How many mages could you possibly need? I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic. And our resources must exceed theirs. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think I could join the army? I don't know. Do you? I doubt I would be allowed to go. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. I learned much from what you said. 
<laughs> you are too kind. Um, can you tell me more about the Grey Wardens and Darkspawn? Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Have there been many Darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the horde. Dear. Archdemon? Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Huh. Uh, I thought the tax bomb were destroyed in the last plague. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Why were Irvin and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Please let's know. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and Mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. I don't see why the Chantry Mages can't get along. The Chantry believes that a mage should fear his power. It was the pride of mages, they say, that brought the Darkspawn upon us in the first place. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? Huh. What are your opinions on the matter? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. Right. Let's talk more about our duties to attend to. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Alright. No. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Uh, I think I am for now. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Uh, of course I do. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You seem a little on edge. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. Alrighty. We should be safe here. Huh. Alright, what's going on? A few months ago I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. This fat cow's your lover? <laughs> My condolences, Lily. <laughs> and initiate? That's forbidden. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Um... You should rethink really this relationship. I won't give Lily up for anything. So what is this about? Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. Uh, that's, that's no option to search. How do you know? That's not terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. How did you find out about that? How did you find out about this? I saw the document on Gregor's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. Huh. 
Why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. And are they right about that? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. What are you going to do? I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Huh. I can't be involved in this. I'll get in trouble. You're, you're just walking away? It's all right, Chow, and there's always a way. We must have faith. I understand your reluctance, and I can only beg you won't violate our trust. We'll see. My first allegiance is the circle. Our lives depend on your silence. Pretend we never spoke. And if you can find it in your heart, wish us luck and pray for us. Alright. Neutered. Wow. Um. Right. Hello. Ah, there you are. I ran into Duncan. You seem to make a good impression. He was pleased to have met you. Um... Duncan's opinion means nothing to me. Um, he was honored to meet a great warden of his stature. You should speak to him more if you get the chance. He's a wise and learned man. Now, you haven't seen your friend Chowan since this morning, have you? Yes, I spoke to him not long ago. I wanted to know if he was feeling all right. He, he seemed nervous when I spoke to him. He avoided my gaze and seemed ready to bolt. You wouldn't know what brought about this behavior, would you? Um. I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. Well, I'm here now. Tell me what this is about. John says, uh, will I get into trouble if I tell you? Nothing will happen to you if you reveal this secret. You are doing a service for the Circle. I understand your need to protect your friend, so I shall make this easier. Jowin is having an affair with an initiate, is he not? Yes. Yes, I've known about this for some time. And she revealed the plans to make him tranquil. I understand why. Though she should have known better. Now, I know Jowen discussed something with you today. What did he say? He's trying to destroy... He's trying to destroy his phylactery. I could simply report Jowen to the Templars. But Lily has also broken her vows and must face like consequences. For this, we need irrefutable proof of her crime. The Chantry will stand behind her, claiming she has been framed or is in the thrall of a blood mage. There must be no doubt in their minds that she helped him voluntarily. Um, why are you trying to get Lily in trouble? She is as guilty as Jowen. I refuse to see him suffer while the Chantry shelters her. Every so often we must remind the Chantry. Their members are not as perfect as they pretend. Tell Jowen and Lily you will aid them. Help them enter the repository. If that is what they intend, we will catch them red-handed. No one will be able to dispute the severity of their crimes. Um, that's beyond the call of duty. What's in it for me? No charge from me is beyond your duty to this circle. Remember your place. 
You must obey this order. Go. And convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Hey guys, you're still here. If you're not going to help, leave me alone. Forgive Jowan. He can be surly. But why have you returned? Please say you've changed your mind. Um. Uh. Circumstances are different now. My race is Thank you. We will never forget this. This about be a good plan. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? Uh, off it's a magical door. We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. Um, I will go to the stockroom and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Huh. Good idea. Good luck. I will prayers go with you. Alright. So I need to get a, a fiery stick. Hello. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Uh, I need the rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, request for rod of fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. I will be back shortly. Thank you. Okay. Let's go see the... Let's go see the first enchanter. Up to free fall, up to free fall. Uh, I got stuff, is that better? Nope. Definitely not. Wait, which one did I uh, right. Okay. Having all these DLC items suddenly wear off. You are back. Has something gone wrong with the plan? Uh, I need this form signed. A rod of fire. Why do you... Uh, I understand. Trying to break through the door this way. Interesting. Um... What's interesting? The phylactery chamber door is warded and resists all magic worked upon it. What am I supposed to do then? Hmm. Not easy breaking into a locked chamber, is it? Still... Ah, yes. The phylactery chamber shares a wall with the artifact vault. Age and dampness seeping up from the ground have weakened a segment of it. You can break down this part of the wall to gain entrance into the chamber. Huh. How would I do this? We have an old Tevinta device in the vault. It may have been used for defense or possibly entertainment. It amplifies spells. Use the rod on this artifact and aim it at the wall. 
Will someone hear that? The repository is deep within the tower. It's unlikely anyone will hear anything except a muffled rumbling. Besides, odd noises are quite commonplace here. That's uh, true. Um, what if it destroys everything else in the room? The artifact releases controlled bursts of energy. Just aim it in the right direction. I shall do this. One more thing. Do not be quick to suggest there is another way in. I don't want Lily and Chowan to suspect. Make it seem like you came up with the idea yourself. Here is the form with my stamp. Owen will release the rod to you now. Alright. There's a mark over here. Hello. Yes? Who are you? Senior Enchanter, Leora. In charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Um, can I look inside the cavern? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? There are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Um... What things? Sensitive magical materials and substances, of course. I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Huh. So why are you out here not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted huh. to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Um, <laughs> well, are you? Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you clear them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Ooh. All right. Wonderful. Here is the key. I oh, wouldn't be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the circle's property to a minimum. Well, I'm gonna be flinging all sorts of crap. Hand up. Flinging spells. Left, right, center. Let us save. Let's make a new one. Stealing all sorts of stuff. Do, 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 Giant cave. Oh, man. Uh oh, Bang. Scary. Oh, 